Hi everyone, today we're doing brom removing and it's been raining quite a bit so we finally got outside and it's a nice sunny day so the first thing I want to show you today is some of the things to use for your brom pup removing or that you can use, just some different options of what I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to start with a couple of new products that I'm trying out at the moment and these are arm protector, hand protector sleeves. So I'll insert the picture, they look like these, just and I've got one in the black pair and one in the light blue pair to try out. So they have the added bonus of being UV protectant, so they protect your arms from the sun and all that as well. So thought they'd be a good idea. Some of the bromeliads are quite prickly and when you're removing pups quite often you're working against the prickles so they can even some of the neos can be quite prickly. So they just look like this and it's also got a little hole for your thumb so I'll put it on to show you. So there it is on. There's your arm um, sleeve protector. And you just have to watch, they might catch on it a little bit, but at least it's protecting your arm a little bit. So we'll give those a go. They're quite stretchy, very, very stretchy. So that's a good tip. And they come up quite a long way. So mine comes up way past my elbow. Just because I'll probably, so yeah, that's quite good. That's all you need. And you could also wear gloves, but these are just good if you're i um, not really a glove wearer if you like to be a bit more tactile or you could wear these with the gloves so they'd be super protective. So the next tool I like to use is a steak knife. Just a steak knife with the serrated edge there. So I did see somebody said a bread knife and for me that was just way too long, a bread knife like that, it, um, yeah, it's just too long and especially if you're cutting off multiple pups, um, you don't want to be stabbing the other pup or stabbing the mum or anything so yeah I just, I find the steak knife just works really well. Um, the idea of the bread knife, the blade is what you need you want for sawing, especially if you've got some of the woody ones. So that's just one tool I use for some of the smaller ones. And then I also use different tools for some of the bigger ones, which I'll show you as well. So generally, for most of the Neos, I would use the, the steak knife. So next up, we will find a pot that we want to remove a pup from and then we'll just assess how we're going to do it. So there's lots of different ways of doing it. Sometimes you can just cut the pup off while it's still in the pot and sometimes it needs to come out of the pot and you can divide them up that way. It just depends. So if you don't have any um, sleeve protectors you could just use long sleeves and I just bought those because they'd be good to try over the summertime and autumn. But it's still quite warm here. So I'll show you both ways of removing. So first of all we'll have a look at removing a pup that we can just leave in the pot and simply remove. So we're going to be doing this one which is Neorigelia Christmas Lights. And you can remove them before they take root and then this one's taking root over the summertime. And I like to come in as close to the mother as I can. And then I like to saw down. So instead of making it quick, I just like to saw and saw till I, because the roots are there. And I know that, so I don't want to be breaking it off or anything before. So I just saw all the way through, go right down so that I can include some of the roots. So that's just a, a technique that you can develop for ones that have got roots. Because some people say, you know, all you need to know about bromeliads is 
the screw and pull technique and I think there's a lot more involved in it than that. I had someone snap off a pup one day and I was nearly reduced to a puddle. So don't forget to name, label your pups as you remove them so they don't get all mixed up and everything else. And we'll do some more removing of the different types of bromeliads soon. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.